Hey guys, you must have observed that majority of the software engineers at Silicon Valley do use a MacBook Pro and I have personally used MacBook Pro at the software companies I work for as well. But is the cost justified whether you should also buy MacBook Pro for programming? Let's find out. So the number one benefit of using a Mac is Unix based operating system because Unix terminal is very important for programmers because it enables you to run pretty much every program through that terminal without any ID. So that's why I'm saving a lot of time by using that terminal and I love it. But that's not the only benefit of Unix terminal. The number two benefit is it automatically adds the path of a new programming language or new application you install to the system path. So let's say I am installing Python to my MacBook Pro and I will first go online and download the setup that will be a DMG file and that will automatically add the Python bin folder path to the system path so that I can launch or so that I can compile my code using Python pretty much from anywhere using this MacBook Pro on my terminal. So that's why I'm saving a lot of time because in Windows I used to first go to system preferences and then manually add that path and then start using Python from the terminal. So that's saving me around five to 10 minutes of setup time. For example, if I need to set up Python R or maybe Java in a similar way, then I will save five minutes for each of those applications that I will have to install. So now the number three benefit that I have seen is for Android development because I have seen that the code compiles four times faster on Unix environments as compared to Windows. And that's not the only thing about Mac because you can get the same uh, speed on Ubuntu as well, but there are some features that Ubuntu or other Linux operating system lacks in so that's why i do not like using that so that's why i love mac and i'm going to link another blog post that says that they also experienced that uh, the android development performance was better on unix based operating systems as compared to windows so you should check that out as well and uh, it's sometimes three times faster and sometimes four times faster so i pretty much enjoy and i can pretty much load the app that i just uh, made on my android phone pretty quickly so as I have mentioned the benefits of Unix terminal, I also want to let you guys know that the difference is not that much for what you are paying because I think the money you're paying is quite a lot because there are good alternatives available in Windows. For example, if you want to add path, you can still do it using system preferences. It's just 15 minutes of setup time. So once you have added all the path, it's going to be pretty much uh, same experience while programming on both of these platforms. But the Android difference, the Android development performance difference was quite significant. So that's the only reason for now, I think it's worth it. So now let's move on with the number four benefit that is for iOS developer and I have to say that MacBooks are the best for iOS development because the alternative we have is Hackintosh that you can pretty much dual boot on Windows based PC or Windows based computers but Hackintosh is very laggy I mean you can make it smooth with great uh, processor great hardware but I think uh, those are not as smooth as this MacBook Pro I wasn't able to use some of the drivers like Wi-Fi driver or uh, some of the touchpad gestures on Hackintosh just like I'm able to do the same on MacBook. So that's why I love MacBook and I hate Hackintosh. So that means for best iOS development experience, you have to buy a MacBook. So now let's move on with disadvantages of this MacBook Pro. So the number one limitation is that there is no delete key like Windows computers. So there is just one delete key that is same as backspace key on those Windows computers. And if you want to delete the characters from center or from left to right then you can pretty much hold the function key and then press the delete key so it will perform the same as the delete key in windows computers but that will require you to pretty much press two buttons instead of just one button button on the windows computers so that is okay because i don't mind pressing two buttons so i'm pretty much used to that so that is okay for me but it was a little bit struggle to do that way in the beginning so now the number two disadvantage of using this MacBook Pro is for machine learning because it doesn't have NVIDIA graphics card. So it pretty much takes a lot of time to run those data sets as compared to on NVIDIA graphics card. So that's why it's going to 
be like three times slower on this MacBook Pro. But if you want to solve this problem or if you want to like run those extensive data sets quickly on this Mac Pro, then you will either have to connect an external graphic card that will cost around $300 to $400 or you can pretty much uh, deploy your code on AWS. But this is not a problem for me because I do not run that heavy uh, data sets. So it's okay for me, but this is worth noting. And uh, for me, the small data sets that I run on this computer took only four to five hours. So that was bearable for me. Now the last but not the least disadvantage of this MacBook Pro is for assembly language compilation because I could not uh, run Massim, that's a type of assembly language on this MacBook Pro directly. So I pretty much had to install Windows on dual boot or you can pretty much install Windows on a virtual box and then uh, run that uh, assembly code by installing Visual Studio. Yes, Visual Studio is present in MacBook Pro, but in order to run some assembly code for Massim, you really need Windows platform. So that was another disadvantage, but I didn't mind that because this MacBook Pro is pretty fast and I can pretty much dual board Windows on it so it's not a big deal for me but now finally the question that comes up is is $2,800 for this Mac Pro justified and the answer is definitely no because in terms of time you are saving uh, by my this Mac Pro is more than the cost you're paying but it is justified for me because I'm saving a lot of time because I'm an extensive Android developer and I showed you that it it is like four times faster on Unix computers and on the top of that I love the Unix shell so I love it and also for iOS development I want smooth experience so that's why it is justified for me but it is not justified for a beginner programmer or who pretty much is trying to come as a CS student uh, and is going to join college so it is not justified for him because he should first explore uh, different platforms he should see what he is going to work on in future if he's going to do machine learning then he can pretty much buy a windows computer with good graphics card or if he is going to do iOS development then he can also do the same on hackintosh because uh, smooth performance is not worth the price on macbook pro and also you cannot do gaming if you are an extensive gamer you cannot do gaming at all on this macbook and also for android development you can pretty much dual boot uh, Ubuntu or Linux and get the same four times faster experience during Android development. So that's why I'm saying for a new CS student or for a new programmer, you should not spend that much money. But if you are experienced and if you are professional and if you want to save time, just like me, then you can spend that much money. And I did not talk about hardware related stuff like keyboard, mouse, display, etc. because those are pretty good and they're going to be a full length review out of this MacBook Pro, especially for students pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.